If I were just starting on YouTube today, what would I do? This video is all about the things I would do totally differently now that I have some experience on the channel. So I'm gonna show you all the things that you can do to start on YouTube the right way, not the wrong way like I did. Hey entrepreneurs, it's Salma Jafri from SalmaJafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell and let's begin. If I were just starting on YouTube, the first thing I would do is ditch the fancy cam, ditch the microphones, ditch the fancy lights and everything and go simple. I would literally just start with my phone. And even though I actually have help, like I my husband is is operating the camera. He's, you know, he knows how to operate a DSLR and I have that help and support. But even then, if I were just starting, I would make videos all by myself with as simple in terms of equipment as I could possibly get. And that would mean taking my phone, maybe an earbud mic. Can you grab the earbud mic for me? Just right there. So this is the earbud mic I have right now. It costs about $20 from Skullcandy, which is the brand. I would literally just plug this into my phone, plug the other end into my ears, and talk to the camera in a decent room in my house. And that's how I would start. Make sure the camera is landscape for you too. Um, and that's how I would start. So if I were just starting today, I would start simple. If I were starting on YouTube today, I ditched the article style script. If you look at my past videos, I gave like a whole backstory and like a why I'm making this video. And no, I would not do that again because when people click on a title, they want the goods right away. And maybe it might mean sacrificing a little bit of preamble, but I would focus on making short Q&A style videos, like literally a video FAQ. I would go in, I'd start answering the question that the title promises I'm gonna answer and go straight and make short focused Q&A style videos. If I were just starting on YouTube today, I would ditch the topics that I wanted to create videos on and focus on meeting my audience's needs and making top and making videos on topics that were in demand. Now, here's what I mean. When you look back at my channel, you see my first few videos or like the first 10 videos even, they're just indulgent. They're on topics I wanted to talk about. And there is one caveat to this. If you just want practice on camera, then it's good to talk about the things that you're passionate about. So you can totally do that. But if you want to grow an audience right from your first video, then do your SEO, do your research, and find the keywords that people are using to find information. Because when your video ranks, it's only going to rank when your title matches what people are searching for. So if I were starting today, I'd focus on growth from day one. And instead of just being indulgent and making videos on topics I wanted to talk about, I do a bit of SEO and see how people are phrasing those topics and what are they actually looking for and then try to meet that demand so that I can grow faster. Here's a radical one. If I were just starting on YouTube, I'd ditch the fancy purple backdrop. In fact, I would ditch the green screen completely and I would just make really, really simple tutorial videos. In fact, I might even ditch my face and just make like screencast tutorials, like literally. They're so easy to do and you need you can do them with free software. You don't even need a fancy camera. You can do them with your laptop's webcam. And I would use a free, completely free, amazing quality software like Zoom and I'll, I'll link, it, link to it in the description, of course. And I would use something like Zoom and I would just record my screen and do like a short tutorial video. We all use apps, we all use software, we all follow processes or methods in our work, right? So as long as you can make a tutorial video on how you do a certain task on your computer or how you use a certain app or how you get something done, that is a great video to start off with where you don't even need to show your face. So I would just start off with simple backdrops or just screencast tutorials. And those would be really simple to produce. And they are right now some of my highest ranking videos. So I know that they absolutely work. Before we get to the last point, I would love to know from you in the comments below, which one of these things is the thing that you can ditch so you can get started faster on YouTube. Okay, and finally, if I were starting on YouTube today, I would ditch the low quality thumbnails. The ones I used to take blurry from the actual footage of the video itself, I'd, scrap, I'd snap a screen, screen capture, a screenshot, and I'd try to make that pretty, right? And now I know today that CTR is very important. That's click-through rate. And YouTube really values 
amazing thumbnails so that more people click on your video. And the only way you can increase your click-through rate is by having a high quality thumbnail. So I would spend that little bit of time posing for a shot and deciding what the thumbnail is gonna look like before I actually even film the video. So deciding what text is gonna go on there, what my expression is gonna be, if I'm even gonna be on the thumbnail, what kind of thumbnail it's gonna be in terms of colors and fonts and branding. I would spend a few minutes on that rather than just take a random shot and I would pay attention more to thumbnails today if I were just starting on YouTube because I know their importance. So what I would do today in terms of thumbnails is I, st I take um, shots in a variety of poses and then I do software like remove.bg to remove the background and to insert whatever custom background I wanted to. And then I would make my thumbnails look more appealing, high contrast colors, emojis, big fonts, so that they can stand out because I know how important CDR is today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch my 30 minute free YouTube masterclass on all the essentials you need to know to start your YouTube channel right. And don't make the same mistakes I did. I'd love to know what were your top mistakes and which ones are you not gonna use to start your YouTube channel in the comments below. And you can grab the link to the masterclass as well uh, in the description, as well as in the end cards. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.